Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is one that I am super excited about. So by the time this video goes out, hopefully, 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 um, the new Avengers movie Endgame will be releasing tomorrow, um, Friday. <laughs> and yeah, I'm super excited. So this is one of those if you like this, you'll like this videos, or in my case, it's if you like them, you'll like these, and it's a women of Avengers style. So some of my favorite women from the Avengers, or Avengers adjacent, um, because the one I want to start with actually, I don't think she's in Avengers, but she's one of my favorite characters in the MCU. So yeah, without further ado, we're just going to jump into it. I'm going to try and center myself in the frame so that we can get a picture of the character on one side and I can hold up the book on the other. So first up, we have Nakia from Black Panther. Um, so if you like Nakia, I'm going to recommend you try out Renegade, specifically for the character of Nova. Both Nakia and Nova are spies for these causes that they really believe in. However, even though they are spies, they're not mindless spies. So they're constantly questioning, criticizing, and just offering up suggestions for the causes that they both work for. How can we be better? Is this really the right thing? Shouldn't we be doing more? Things like that. And so when I thought of Nakia, I was like, okay, I don't want someone who's just a spy. I want someone who is a spy with a conscience. And that's definitely Nova from Renegades. And if you don't know what Renegades by Marissa Meyer is, it's basically this world where there are superheroes and supervillains. You have um, the Renegades who are the superheroes. They kind of run the government. They have the justice system as well. They're the police force. And then you have the anarchists who are anti that. And so it's just this, this balance of power. And you kind of go through the book thinking, okay, Renegades are supposedly good, but is a world where the police force, the justice system, and the government are all one thing, really a good thing. Next up, Black Widow. So if you like the character of Black Widow, I'm strongly suggesting Tamar from Siege and Storm. This is the second book in the Shadow and Bone trilogy, so you have to read the first book in order to like get to this one, but I would highly recommend it. Both of these women, Black Widow or Natasha and Tamar, are strong-willed. They're trained in a variety of different fighting combats. So they're really good at that. And they're just essentially really tough, strong warriors. I will say that I prefer Tamar or Tamar over Black Widow, but that's just me. If you don't know what the Shadow and Bone trilogy is about, you basically follow this girl, Alina. She lives in a world where there are Grisha, which are these people who have magical abilities. And you have people who don't have these magical abilities. And you have this one person who is trying to kind of take over all of the realm. And Alina discovers that she isn't as normal as she thought she was. Next up, Scarlet Witch. If you like Scarlet Witch, I'm recommending you read Letters to the Lost by Bridget Kemmerer, specifically for the character of Juliet Young. So both these characters, Juliet Young and Scarlet Witch, have experienced tremendous grief and losing the person that they were closest to. They are very tragic characters um, and they are kind of a bit prickly you know it takes a lot for them to open up to people a lot for them to trust people and they're still able to both find love which is really really nice and letters to the lost basically follows this girl and this guy of Juliet and you have Declan and Juliet's mother passed a few months ago and so to kind of cope with the loss of her mother she begins writing letters and leaving them on her grave Declan finds these letters he writes back and they start up a correspondence via letters and emails and such. Next up we have Gamora and if you like Gamora I'm recommending that you read Once in Future for the character of Gwen. So these are both women who were raised by people who weren't their biological parents or their biological family. They're also women who even though they're not the the official leader of the group that they're in people still look at them to be leaders they look at them for wisdom and they're very just grounded characters and honestly their love interests don't necessarily deserve them. <laughs> um, I'm so mad about <laughs> Skylord but you know we'll, we'll move on, we'll get over it but yeah and so Once in Future is a gender bent queer King Arthur retelling that takes place in the future in space. It has all the makings to be a great book for more of my thoughts on this, check out my April wrap up, which will be coming out towards the end of April, beginning of May. Next up, we have Okoye from, well, I mean, Black Panther, but she's also going to be in Endgame. So if you like Okoye, I am recommending that you 
read the Red Queen series for the character of Farley. This is the fourth book in the series. This is Warstorm. The other three books are in storage. Um, so this is going to be a placeholder for the entire series. And so basically the similarities between Okoye and Farley, they're very tough, very strongly trained warriors. They're very passionate about the cause that they fight for and they're dedicated and they're loyal to their cause, their leaders, but they're also still very critical of the leadership and the decisions and they're not just soldiers so they play an important role in deciding the future of um, their organizations and what's going to happen. And they're also, they offer some kind of comical relief even in even in times of war, which I really appreciated. So next up we have Nebula, and I struggled with this one, not because I couldn't think of anything, but because I thought of two characters and I couldn't choose between them. So I'm just going to give you both. And for Nebula, I recommend reading The Female of the Species by Mindy McGinnis for the character of Alex. And I also recommend reading Sadie by Courtney Summers for the character of Sadie. So these three women, young women really in these two, these three young women um, and Nebula have been wronged by people. They were never served justice for the wrongs that were inflicted upon them or their families or their like adjacent people and so they decide to take revenge into their own hands and just handle what they need to handle on their own. They have very hardened exteriors so if you've seen um, you know Guardians of the Galaxy, if you've seen Infinity War, you know that Nebula is, um, she's, she's like, likable, but she's not the most, like, open character, and the same goes for these two characters, Sadie and Alex, which makes sense, you know, given their backstory, um, but they also have large themes of love for their sisters, so that goes for Nebula, that goes for Alex, and that goes for Sadie. There's a lot of I love my sister and I want to protect her with these three characters, which I really admire. So next up is another character, another, another character who I could not just pick one book character for, and that is Captain Marvel. And so for Captain Marvel, I have two here as well. I have Karis, Carries, Carrie. I think I'm gonna go with Carries from the Dividing Eden series. This is the second book, Eden Conquered. Um, and then we also have Mayor Barrow from the Red Queen series. So these are all women who have some sort of hidden, really powerful ability that they don't know about until later on in life. They're just expected to do their part and fulfill their role in society with no questions and just kind of go on and not really question the status quo. They're very hard-willed, stubborn personalities. If you've seen Captain Marvel, you know that. Um, the same goes for Carys and Dividing Eden and Eden Conquered, and then of course Mayor Barrow and the entire, entire Red Queen trilogy. There's also a lot of growth and a lot of character development between these three, well, this one woman and these two young women. Um, if you've ever heard me talk about the Red Queen series, you know if you've ever heard me talk about the Red Queen series, you know that Mare Barrow goes through some intense, intense character development. Like, it's crazy. And these three, this, these three characters are also very goal-centric, and they're very much about the greater good, and how can they help others. So yeah, if you like this video, make sure you give it a huge thumb up. Comment down below, what are some... Um, characters you think really fit well with the women of Avengers. Tell me some of the women of Avengers that I missed because I know I did not get all of the women in the MCU because this video would be like twice as long. Um, make sure that you share this video with all your book loving friends. Make sure you are subscribed and that you push the notification bell so you're notified every time I put out a new video. Follow me on all my social media as I mentioned before in my last video. The name of the channel has changed and so there is a new Instagram to go along with that so make sure you please go and follow me at Booking It With Atia. Check me out on Twitter as well and Goodreads and I will see you in the next video. Bye!